Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to compile and run C and C++ program using GNU compiler in Linux Mint 21 operating system. So first step is I am checking whether uh, GCC compiler that this GCC compiler for C and C++ installed or not. So this is the command to check whether GCC and G++ are available. Yes, so GNU compiler is installed, okay? If it is not installed means I have provided the command uh, in description of the video. Run that command, that will install the uh, GNU, C and C++ compiler. So now I am going to uh, show you C and C++ program, C and C++ program. Welcome.c and hello.cpp both will print the welcome message. So welcome.c using stdio.h library and hello.cpp using io stream library. That is uh, let us compile and run C file. I can able to compile the C program now. Now let us run the output file. Yes, I can able to run the C program. Now let us run the C++ file. Yes, I can able to compile and run the C++ file using uh, GNU compiler. Okay, now I am going to show you an important command. Let us compile the C program using hyphen h option so this hyphen h option will give you the uh, list of header files uh, loaded in the memory and list of header files used by this program so first line you can see that the stdio.h is used by this program and rest of the header files are loaded in the memory stack so this is for single c program now let me show you for c++ program g++ hyphen h See, lot of header files for a single C++ program. So here you can see that this is IO stream file used by this uh, C++ file and it is loaded in the memory. Okay, basically all the header files uh, belonging to GNU compiler are located under slash USR slash include. You can see that header files for both C and C++. So for C++, separate directory is there. Okay, so this is the way we can compile and run C and C++ program using GNU uh, compiler in Linux Mint 20 and operating system.